This is one quick tip which will add a lot of photorealism to your images. Imagine the edge of the wall, or some wooden element, or any object. In real life, these edges are not perfectly sharp. Even the sharpest edges are a bit rounded. Spend some time today on observing the objects in your house. Notice how edges are rounded on different types of materials. Let me show you how to do it in 3ds Max. There are two ways of doing it, hard and long, and quick and easy. Let's start from the harder method, so we are all on the same page. Here is my model. I want to chamfer its edges. Most people do it this way. Let's start with adding a chamfer modifier. We have to change the tension to 0.5. You can see that there is a problem with the smoothing. If we increase segments, the problem is still there. If we add a smooth modifier, we lose the smoothing on edges. It doesn't look good. And if we add auto smooth, we are back where we started. So let's delete it. To fix this, we would have to add an editable poly modifier and add connections close to the edges. You can see that the problem is solved on this part of the model, but it's a lot of work to fix the whole object. Let me show you my quick and easy method. I will copy my model and start from the beginning. I will add a chamfer modifier like last time and adjust values. Now, let's duplicate this modifier. It doesn't look good yet, but wait for it. I will turn off the visibility of the top one and change the segments to one. Now, look what will happen if I change the tension value to zero. We have the same result as if we make a connection using an editable poly modifier. Now, all we have to do is to adjust the amount of value and we are done. It's starting to look good at about 1.45 mm. So it will be 145% of the top chamfer's amount. Smoothing is perfect. If you want to adjust the value, let's say to 2 mm, you have to change the bottom chamfer's amount to 2.9. So it's 145%. 
I will change it back. We can also add a Turbo Smooth modifier without any issues. Let me show you one more thing. Let's say you want to do it on a cylinder or a similar object. Let me copy all the modifiers to show you what's going on. As you can see, we have chamfered vertical edges. Let me show you how to fix this. We have to go to the chamfer modifiers and adjust the minimum angle. It is the angle on which the modifier starts working on the edge. It's better to use larger values in case you want to change something later. In this case, up to 90 degrees is fine. It depends how you want your object to look like. Lastly, we can adjust the Turbo Smooth modifier. On the objects like this, one intersection is not enough. If your scene gets too heavy, it's better to use render intersections instead. Object is nice and light. But if I hit render, the subdivisions are turned off. If you do it once, there is no need to do it again. I would make a script out of it. Here is how it works. You just have to select the model and click on the script. Then change the values if you need. Let me know in the comments if you want me to show you how to do it. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video!